to Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll show you how to process your DJI Zenmoose L2 LiDAR data and some of the free tools Terra has to offer. Before we begin in Terra, we're going to do a little prep with our data. I've already transferred the LiDAR mission from the L2 SD card, downloaded my check shots and my observation file from my MLID reach base. In our mission folder, we'll copy the name of one of these files with identical names but different file extensions. We'll then change the name of our base's observation file to that and change the file extension to OBS. We can then put that file in our mission folder with the rest of our data. Now in Terra, we'll start a new LiDAR point cloud mission. Then select this folder icon and navigate to our mission folder that we've prepped. Underneath that selection, we will click on the settings for the base station center point. In this window, we'll input our base's coordinate that we processed an Opus solution for and save that. In our LiDAR point cloud dropdown, we can fine tune how we'd like to process our data. First is point cloud density. There we can enable things like smoothing, ground point classification, or generating a DEM. In the advanced section, we can select our coordinate system and select what formats we would like our point cloud to be processed as. In the applications dropdown, we can access our annotation and measurement tools. Back in the advanced section, we can add ground check and ground control points. So now we will import a CSV of our check shots. We will then need to classify our columns to identify our check shot coordinates. These will be imported as ground control points, which will affect our point cloud. So I'm going to change them all to checkpoints to give you a good idea of the accuracy of the L2. Let's back out and start processing. One last check of all our parameters will pop up and if everything looks right, clicking OK will begin the processing. After processing, we are presented with our point cloud. We can toggle through filters to see the data as RGB, its reflectivity, or height. We can also view a quality report within Terra that will give us information about the entirety of the mission. Here we can look at our elevation difference between our L2 data versus our checkpoints. Our largest difference here is 0.73 with a difference of 2.8 centimeters. The last thing we'll look at before exporting our point cloud will be our measurement tools. The coordinate tool lets us select a point and check its coordinates. We can name and save that point as well if we'd like. The measurement tool will let us select points and find the distance between them. Like the other tools, we can name and save that as well. The area and volume tools let us measure an area or volume respectively. Finally, to export our point cloud, we click on the home button, then find our mission, and click on the export button. We can then pull that point cloud into other processing software like BrickSCAD to work with the data further. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.